today's video. Today is going to be a clean my car with me because it really needs to be done. During the holidays, we were going back and forth between my in-laws and my parents' house. So we were in the car a lot and we were lugging around gifts and presents and snacks and drinks and yogurts and you name it, lots of stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so we just got done with the car wash. I wanna go ahead and tackle my windshield and then hopefully we can vacuum out things. And then obviously we'll see what else I can do today because um, I need to go to HEB as well. Um, so right now my husband is actually in surgery. I don't know if he wants me to say what he's in surgery for or not, but it's it's a um, like a routine surgery, I guess. I will need to get him some things to eat and drink afterwards. So maybe it'll be a get it all done with me type of, uh, type of video. But anyways, for now, let's go ahead and clean my windshield and then go ahead and vacuum it out. Everything is nice and clean in my car, finally. I feel like I can kind of breathe a little better in here. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you're a mom, you know what I mean. There's less goldfish on the floor, less crumbs everywhere. Um, it's less sticky, which is a very, very nice thing to have in your car. Um, so yeah, if you are new here, I usually don't clean my car like this and have a video about it, but I needed to clean my car out. It was very gross from the holidays and everything, so um, so yeah, I usually do cleaning content and homemaking, like cleaning and decorating, and then I do homeschooling and I do vlogs from just my family, every day-to-day -day life, mom life with three kids and homeschooling and everything like that. So if you're into any of that type of content, please feel free to subscribe. I would love it if you join us here and kind of join my journey into motherhood. Now I'm gonna go to HEB really quick before I need to pick up my husband from surgery. Um, he, they just told me that they're finishing up, but I know he's gonna be starving, so 
yes, eat things that are light. So I need to go get him some like yogurts and then any coffee creamer for the house. And we need some body wash and some lotion. So I'm gonna try to hurry up. So now that I finally have all of the groceries there, put them in a um, styrofoam container just because I've been getting text messages from like the doctor and the nurses and they said it was gonna be an hour, about an hour ago. And they called me just now letting me know it's gonna be about another 45 minutes to an hour um, just to see how my husband is waking up and everything from surgery. So um, yeah, so I freaked out kind of and I was kind of scurrying because I just bought like $100 worth of groceries and I don't want that to go bad. So. Um, I went and I got some um, ice from this quick trip really quick and I got a foam container. So now I'm going to go back to the hospital. I'm going to park my car, run inside. My husband is waking up slowly. They said I can go back with him. I'm going to check on him. Maybe he will want to say hi. Maybe he won't. Mm -hmm. 